Hello, and welcome to Augmented Teachings, where we will talk about the things that inspire us to think better, feel better, and in turn be better. Understanding God and the afterlife without the baggage of religion. I'm Todd Michael Jackson. And, and I'm Brandy Pagano. How are you doing, Brandy? I'm so good. How are you today? I'm doing really good. Good. So, uh, we have a little new format, a little, little different, and we're going to talk about something that I saw mm-hmm. on, on YouTube. A current, a current event type current thing, event. right? Okay. Right. And uh, this guy named Jordan Peterson. Mm-hmm, I've heard of him. And uh, there was a video that I saw, and I was like, hmm, we should talk about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll that video right now. Weeks ago, you tweeted something oh, out good, that period. got a l- crazy amount of attention. Sports it's, Illustrated it's, swimsuit edition, I believe you're referring to. Yes. I tweeted out. Sorry, not beautiful. Yeah, people weren't very happy with that. I looked at the Sports Illustrated cover, and they had a rather overweight young woman with a very revealing swimsuit on the cover. And I thought, no, not in a personal way, but it's unbelievably manipulative. Sports Illustrated hit the gold mine with their swimsuit cover. I suppose 20 years ago and it's focused on a very idealized and specific form of beauty and that's obviously exclusionary it excludes everyone everyone. it was also an insistence that all of a sudden this non-athletic body is as beautiful as the standard swimsuit model for Sports Illustrated and it's not it's not as athletic and it's not as healthy and that's that not everyone is a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model and you if you don't like it so, what do you think about that, Todd? That was um, that was something. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. And I think uh, Jordan Pearson fits the ideologies of a lot of people in this country, especially mm-hmm. that beauty comes from external things they can see only. Mm-hmm. And I have something to tell him. There's there's different types of beauty. There's beauty of courage, mental fortitude, mm-hmm. right? And there's beauty of of personality there's beauty of smile there's beauty of face there's beauty of so many things that aren't just the physical body right. of an athlete mm-hmm. and i think when you look at it in that sense you open things up and when he says sorry not beautiful mm. i'm like really how who is he to decide this because if you look at other cultures, women that have more weight on them are actually deemed to be more beautiful than women mm-hmm. that are thin or skinny. Mm-hmm. Other cultures, this country, 100 years ago, liked women that were much heavier. Mae West, which was a sex symbol back in the turn of the century, mm-hmm. right? She was 200 pounds. Mm-hmm. Women that had more, more voluptuousness mm-hmm. were sought to be more sexually desirable. So just because we've fallen into this idea now that women are supposed to be, you know, this, this cookie cutter, you know, swimsuit model Mm -hmm. is really, really messed up in a lot of ways. And when we get back to realizing that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Now, is she for me? No, she's not. I I don't, I don't, she's not my cup of tea, Mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean I can't say she's not beautiful. Mm -hmm. To somebody, she is. Right. To a lot of people, she is. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole problem is he, he uses these knee-jerk reactions mm-hmm. to get fame, to sell a bunch of books. And this isn't the only time he's acting. No, he's, no. He's been vocal about his opinions he, on he, things. Yes, he, he's very negatively opinion, right. opinionated on mm-hmm. certain things to get people to to get that knee-jerk reaction to, 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 rile, to rile him up. Yeah. He, he likes yeah. to hit the hornet's nest, which... If you look at it from the material world, which he lives in, because he just mm-hmm. judged her in a materialistic way, just right. the physical beauty, the that's external, it. Beauty. external beauty mm-hmm. only, that's where he lives. He is very smart in what he knows. The problem is he doesn't know very much. Mm-hmm. And when you really break it down, he thinks that having this conversation about this person has no ramifications. And it does. There are ramifications for everything we do. Mm-hmm. And when he brings up this this topic in such a negative way mm-hmm. to get that kind of response of negativity um, and fear and judgment, then you really have to, uh, he'll have to go through something called a past life review eventually when he passes over and he dies. Right. And this, this incident right here, we're just talking about this incident. Mm-hmm. He will feel how he affected others. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that people don't realize is that there's ramifications for everything we do. And the most important thing you can do is treat people 
with integrity, love, and acceptance. Mm -hmm. When you learn to do that, then your past out of you is going to be golden. Right. And even even Jesus agreed with this when they asked him what was the most important important commandment. It's, it's to treat your neighbor as you would treat yourself. Mm. And that's really, that is true because that's the only thing we get judged on is how we treated others. Did we bring the vibration of the people around us up mm -hmm. or did we bring it down? Right. Doesn't matter what the purpose is. No. No. Did you bring it down? Did you What's do, the intent? Did you bring it down to be successful and to and to make a lot of money mm -hmm. and to sell a lot of books and to get fame? Doesn't matter. It still counts as you brought the vibration down. Well, it's interesting because that video that we just viewed wasn't the only uh, version of mm -hmm. that interview, I guess. And um, we actually we saw some of them, and they varied a little bit for what you know what they actually put in the final cut. But anyways. One of the videos was talking about he was saying that this woman was being exploited and right. manipulated. Right. And but in a sense that's what he's using. He's he's kind of exploiting this <laughs> yes. this story and putting his twist on it. Right. And I see it as um, you know, this company is showing equality. Right. That women don't only come in one shape, shape, size, and color. Right. You know, that, and I think that's really where our society is moving towards mm -hmm. is that acceptance and equality for all. Right. All beings, all shapes, all sizes, mm -hmm. all genders. Right. And he clearly has a problem with a lot of different things, but right. those are other topics. But um, I just feel that he's using this as a as a as a manipulation right. for his own personal right. agenda possibly right right and, and you look at exploitation i always see exploitation in, in different ways somebody being forced to do something they don't want uh -huh. to do or somebody not being compensated for what they're being told to do yeah like, or being, like they asked being to do. used right right yeah. so they were like hey the swimsuit model they were like hey we're gonna give you a minimum wage uh, 15 bucks an hour, I want to do a two hour shoot, here's your 30 bucks. They didn't do that. No. They didn't, they didn't exploit doubt. her. They she did not exploit happen. her for pay, underpaying her. Right. They didn't exploit her by forcing her to do it against her will. Right. So therefore, it was a choice. there was not an exploitation. She agreed to do this for X amount of dollars. And actually winning the, the cover, I remember watching a, an old uh, video, an old documentary about the swimsuit models, and uh -huh. it's the most coveted. They're all vying to get that cover. Yeah, and, and you were speaking about the, the beauty of the courage that mm -hmm. it took wow. for any woman, right. but I, especially yes. a woman that is a, fu a fuller figure right. that is maybe seen like this Jordan Peterson right. sees women. And I prefer my women more full figure. I don't like skinny. <laughs> I don't like skinny women. So, so I understand. Yeah. Uh, and I don't take my shirt off because of the Jordan Petersons of the world, you know, because right. I'm not Brad Pitt under here, surprisingly. And... <laughs> And I, the courage for her to do that and to be so revealing. Yeah, we, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable in that. Exactly. that. That's my only thing is that my own judgment against myself, <laughs> myself I wouldn't feel. But because it's like more we, power to you, Because girl. we live in a society where we've been trained yeah. that you're not acceptable. Especially as a, a fuller figure woman right. myself, I haven't always been. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I've had to work through because right. of the society that we are currently in. Now, like you said, 100 years ago, mm -hmm. I would be seen as yes. that sex symbol. Yes, you would. More often than not. And, you know, society tells us, the opposite side of that story now you know and, and growing up and it's very damaging I mean people are beautiful in their own way and really we don't take these vessels with us when we leave this human experience all we take is we take our soul with us we don't take the body and so to judge people for the body and the external you know quote beauty or, or lack thereof in some right. people's mind is mm -hmm is very damaging on so many levels because it's creating the vibration of hate and division rather than love right. and unity. And this this planet we live on, is just a classroom. He will be able to see her true beauty when both return back home, Jordan Peterson and this and this model from the cover of Sw uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit. They'll both be able to see their vibration and the color of their auras when they return back home mm -hmm. and see which one really is more beautiful. Right. One that was narrow-minded and judgmental, or the mm -hmm. one that actually had the courage to stand up for, stand up against the Jordan Petersons yes, of the world. Yes, exactly, exactly, and and really, that's what we can ask ourselves and 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 ask each other: What are we creating? What vibration are we creating for us here right. on this planet Earth and in the afterlife? Right. You know, because what what we do and how we um, we live and move and have our being in this state of consciousness here, right. you know, in the human vessel. Mm -hmm. We literally take that with us. 
we take the life that we've created with us. We take those memories, those experiences, those right. vibrations, those emotions, and you know, you've you've really ingrained that into my mind even more with our conversations, and it helps me to to have right. a better perspective. There's a video I saw of Jordan Peterson crying. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that, but doubling or tripling that when he goes back home. Oh. Because this isn't the first time he's attacked somebody on a superficial for a superficial reason. Mm. And when he goes back home and he sees all these people feeling pain and mm -hmm. sorrow from all the judgment that he has passed out as his truth, he's going to have to deal with that. Sometimes, see, I've been an NDE researcher for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And when people go through their past life review, which is the first place you go to when you pass over, you go into the light, you go to your past life review. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the past life review is so bad and the soul is brought to sorrow and tears so over overwhelmingly, they'll ask the angel to stop, the angels to stop the past life review so they can recompose themselves. Because it's so painful when you feel you the vibrations and you're, how you're bringing them down through judgment and fear and hate. Because you don't just get to feel it from your first person perspective. No, you feel, you feel, it. feel it with the other people around you and right. how they're feeling. And then so now you're picking up because all feeling and all intent is known right. and experienced in heaven on the other side of the veil when we are outside of these physical vessels, right? Right, exactly. And, and that's really, when you get right down to it, we want to have this situation to where we go through a past over you and we felt like we did a really good job and there's no need to return. When you have the Jordan Petersons of the world and they want to pass judgment and fear and and use their, their narrow mindedness to to judge it causes such a ripple effect before in the past you could say you uh, were mean or uh, aggressive towards somebody mm -hmm. and affected one person so you feel the pain of that person mm -hmm. now we're in the internet age mm -hmm. it, what you do and you're famous like that has huge ripple effects now right. because now you can Multiplied. be you're literally <laughs> becoming an internet bully mm -hmm. and you're going to feel all the pain because all intent is known not right. just the intent of the person you interacted with but when that when that bullying session is over that goes out into wherever but it never disappears and the inner and that intent is carried with it yeah. and you will see and feel the waves of fear and judgment passing over or love and acceptance which do you want to put onto this earth and i think that's part of our awakening is mm -hmm. asking ourselves those questions right because we're awakening to a new paradigm a new option right a new choice point you know, because we have a choice in everything we say, we think, we do, all of our actions. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do those for us. Right. And so we can suggest certain things, you know, we can suggest certain ideas or ways of being, but really it comes up to each individual mm -hmm. um, and their 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 soul development and their progression of that soul development. Exactly. And it really all comes down to choice. Because nobody's forcing him to say these things. Nobody mm -hmm. is forcing him to see mm -hmm. life through those filters. Right. And um I, I believe that the information age is over mm -hmm. because it's all out there. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to learn how to be a better human, <laughs> it's there. It's there. You know, and and our show brings understanding of that because right. it's not just the what, it's the why mm -hmm. and the how. Right. Right. Exactly. And if he knew what we knew, mm -hmm. he would he would pull way back. Yeah. He would not be doing what he's doing because he knows there's ramifications for mm -hmm. it. Uh, now, would he be able to? Maybe, but he'd at least try. He'd at least try. And I think that what you're saying, talking about the new paradigm, I know, and a lot of it just comes from not knowing, from ignorance. Right, it's just ignorance. We, yeah. Everybody thinks, okay, well, now I want to find out about God. There's a book, there it is. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, wait, there's way, way more information out now mm -hmm. that wasn't there 2,000 years ago. There's more things you can learn. Think of doctors just used medical books from the 1400s and the 1500s there would be no progression there would be no progression you wouldn't go anywhere right there's way god has allowed so much more information to come out now mm -hmm. and and that's what i wanted to find out i didn't want to i didn't want to find out through religion because millions upon billions of people have gone through all these scriptures 
and we've only gotten so far. I want to know more. I want to know how things work. And that's what I did over and over and over, just deep dived into NDEs. And now I've come to a, a consensus that God is so much more than the Bible can ever, ever explain. And there are certain ramifications that are here that we don't, that the Bible does not explain. And that's what we're here. This is what this whole channel is for. This is what our sole purpose is to help people understand what's on the darn test. Right, 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 right. What's on the, what's on the test? What, what's your purpose of life? Which is super easy. We've done videos on this uh, for quite a, for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. and I really want people to understand that it's so simple if you just want to listen for a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's so simple. Give yourself that time. To, it's all a choice. To understand, and the crazy thing is, is with our show, it's a little different in another area. Sometimes the Bible or scriptures will will say something, but they don't mm -hmm. explain why. That, right, right. We give the why. This is how it works, mm -hmm. and this is why. Mm -hmm. So we can give backing of it. We can augment what we're saying. Mm -hmm. We're not just saying it and saying, believe us. We're saying, this is this is how it works, and this is why we do it this way. Well, and, I, and, and what I, when I'm usually in session with people, mm -hmm. um, you know, I ask them, how does it make you feel when you're in the vibration of love? Right. When you're with your family, when you're when you're looking at a, a sweet little puppy or, you know, a baby, right. you know, or a toddler walking for the first time. It's like we're in that vibration of love and we're feeling so good. And then on the flip side, how do you feel when you're in, in the vibration of anger? Right. How does your body feel? Your body will tune in and let you know where where you need to, to lean more into. And if you feel good being an angry person or being in fear or judgment then right. that's where you're at. But I really, I, I offer people, start to notice how you feel. Right. Yeah, like I said, if, if he uh, if he knew what we knew, he'd pull way back. You know, it's just one thing to say, uh, I don't favor this person, but it's another thing to say what they are or are not. And for, for me... For everybody. For me, it's kind of like, it doesn't even need to be said. Right. You know, why Why go to the length of mm -hmm. putting this hate out there? Because right. that's literally just creating the vibration of hate more right. and more. And it, it's, it's making it grow. And that's something that we don't want to do. Right. And, and, and that's one thing I said to you earlier. I said mm -hmm. when we first watched it the first time, I was like, it should, nothing needs to be said. Yeah. Really, if, if sales go up, they go up. They go down, they go down. Right. Make your judgments. Whatever, Let it be what whatever, it's whatever, be. whatever they could what is what it is is what it is there's no need to have input especially negative i remember back when i was growing up you know good christians they were like if you had nothing nice to say don't say it at all now it's like totally opposite and people were rallying behind jordan peterson in a lot of the comments and i was like really mm. yeah this man speaks the truth and i'm like wow who's truth who's truth who's truth the truth of love and acceptance or the truth of judgment well, and you know, we've talked about, um, briefly before we wrap up, you've, you've talked about how each soul is at their own uh, yes. development, right? right. Mm -hmm. And um, we really can't judge because if they knew better, truly, truly, they would do better. They would do better. And so we can't expect a mm -hmm. kindergarten soul level mm -hmm. to have the ideas and understanding of a 12th grade soul level, you know, right? right. And so we can understand where people are at but we can use that as a teaching moment right to reconfirm mm -hmm. what it is that we know mm -hmm. and reconfirm right. who we how, what we what we right. choose for our own selves right, right? is jordan peterson a bad soul absolutely not no there's no, no such thing no there's only levels of learning right so just because he doesn't know the difference between right and wrong mm -hmm. under our true purpose doesn't mean he's a bad soul. No. He might he might be a very young soul that's doing very well for himself, but it doesn't mean that he's developed to the point where he's learned love and acceptance for all. And that's when what it really comes down to is looking for the good in people. Mm -hmm. You're a more developed soul. If you look for the bad in others, you're not as old. Right, and he could have totally reframed that whole statement mm -hmm. in a different way mm -hmm. that would shed more light mm -hmm rather than the division you right. know and that's and that's one of the things he wants that knee-jerk reaction mm -hmm. yeah to get things riled up so he gets more famous gets more attention right. sells more books gets more bookings to talk 
all these things, not realizing it's going to pay horrible dividends when he returns back home. And maybe this is his soul's lesson. Right. You know, we all come here to work the puzzle of unconditional love, and mm -hmm. we don't know what lessons his soul came here to overcome mm -hmm. and to work through. And um, so he is where he is. I choose to not mm -hmm. um, follow his ideas. And mm -hmm. of course, each individual has their own choice point to make. Mm -hmm. But um, I think what it really comes down to is is what we do for ourselves, right? And what we choose for ourselves. And one last point I want to make. When a soul realizes it's made a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. with judgment and fear, or judgment through fear, the soul will make a conscious decision to go where it had overly scrutinized in the past. Right. So it can learn through first-hand knowledge of the struggle. Mm -hmm. Where will Joel, or Joel, <laughs> where <laughs> will Jordan Peterson go first? Think about that. All right. So always so. have love and laughter in your heart. And keep it moving forward. Thank you. Bye. See you next Bye -bye. time. Thank you.